Fellow gardeners, let me share something that might surprise you. While the gardening industry floods us with flashy bottles promising miraculous plant transformations, there's a humble pantry staple that's been quietly outperforming these modern marvels for generations. That secret weapon? Good old molasses. Today we're diving deep into why this sticky, sweet byproduct continues to reign supreme over expensive synthetic boosters and how you can harness its incredible power in your own garden. Long before chemical companies convinced us we needed specialized formulas for every gardening challenge, our ancestors understood something profound about soil health. They recognized that thriving plants didn't just need food, they needed a living, breathing ecosystem beneath their roots. Ancient farmers across cultures intuitively turned to natural soil amendments, understanding that the real magic happened in the unseen world of soil microbes. Molasses represents this ancient wisdom perfectly. When you pour that dark, viscous liquid into your watering can, you're not just adding another garden product, you're awakening an underground metropolis of beneficial microorganisms that have been waiting for their favorite meal. These microscopic allies, including bacteria, fungi, and other soil dwellers, form the backbone of what we call the soil food web. They're the unsung heroes that transform basic nutrients into forms your plants can actually use, creating a self-sustaining cycle of fertility that no synthetic booster can replicate. The beauty of molasses lies in its simplicity and its profound impact on this microbial engine. Unlike modern boosters that bypass the soil ecosystem entirely, molasses works with nature's design, feeding the very organisms that have been nurturing plant life for millions of years. When you understand this fundamental difference, you begin to see why molasses isn't just another gardening trick. It's a return to the principles that create truly healthy, resilient gardens. While modern garden boosters focus obsessively on NPK ratios, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, molasses takes a more sophisticated approach. It's packed with readily available simple sugars like sucrose and fructose, which serve as premium fuel for soil microorganisms. But that's just the beginning of its nutritional profile. Blackstrap molasses, in particular, delivers essential micronutrients including calcium, magnesium, iron, and potassium, creating a comprehensive feeding program for both microbes and plants. The real magic happens when molasses hits your soil. Those beneficial bacteria and fungi that have been dormant or struggling suddenly receive a feast of easily digestible carbohydrates. Their populations explode, creating a thriving underground community that begins working around the clock to improve your soil's health. These microorganisms don't just consume the molasses, they use that energy to break down organic matter more efficiently, making nutrients that were previously locked in your soil suddenly available to your plants. This microbial feast creates what soil scientists call enhanced nutrient cycling. As the microbe populations multiply and thrive, they become increasingly efficient at decomposing organic matter and releasing essential nutrients in forms your plants can readily absorb. The result is a soil that becomes more fertile over time rather than requiring constant synthetic inputs. Your investment in molasses today continues paying dividends for months and even years, as the improved microbial community maintains its enhanced activity long after the initial application. The structural benefits of this microbial boost extend far beyond nutrition. A soil rich in beneficial microorganisms develops better aggregation, the clumping of soil particles that creates the perfect balance of air spaces and water retention. This improved soil structure means better drainage during heavy rains, improved water retention during dry spells, and easier root penetration for your plants. It's a comprehensive soil improvement that synthetic boosters simply cannot provide. Modern garden boosters promise quick results and they often deliver, at least initially. These synthetic formulations typically contain concentrated doses of specific nutrients designed to trigger immediate plant responses. You'll see greener leaves, faster growth, and more blooms, often within days of application, it's gardening instant gratification, and it's exactly what makes these products so appealing to frustrated gardeners seeking quick fixes. However, this approach comes with significant hidden costs that manufacturers rarely discuss on their colorful labels. 
Synthetic boosters work by flooding plants with immediately available nutrients, bypassing the natural soil ecosystem entirely. While this creates dramatic short-term results, it also sends a troubling message to the soil microbes, they're no longer needed. Over time, repeated use of these chemical shortcuts can actually sterilize your soil, killing off the beneficial organisms that would otherwise be working to create long-term fertility. The environmental implications extend beyond your garden beds. These concentrated synthetic nutrients are highly mobile in soil, meaning they don't stay where you put them. Rain and irrigation can wash excess nutrients into groundwater, streams, and rivers, contributing to algae blooms and dead zones in our waterways. What starts as a quest for better tomatoes can end up harming ecosystems far from your backyard. From a financial perspective, the synthetic booster approach creates an expensive cycle of dependency. Because these products don't build soil health, their effects are temporary. Your plants quickly consume the available nutrients, leaving you reaching for another bottle just as the previous application's benefits fade. Many gardeners find themselves applying synthetic boosters every few weeks throughout the growing season, with costs that can easily exceed hundreds of dollars annually for a modest garden. Meanwhile, a single bottle of molasses costing less than most synthetic products can last an entire season while building soil health that improves year after year. The proof of molasses's superiority isn't just theoretical. It's visible in gardens around the world where savvy gardeners have made the switch. Plants treated with regular molasses applications consistently show deeper, more extensive root systems compared to those fed synthetic boosters. This root development translates into better drought tolerance, improved nutrient uptake, and stronger overall plant health that becomes more apparent as the growing season progresses. The application process couldn't be simpler, making molasses accessible to gardeners of all experience levels. For a basic soil drench, just mix 1 to 2 tablespoons of unsulfured molasses into a gallon of water and apply this solution to your garden beds every couple of weeks. The key word here is unsulfured. Sulfured molasses contains antimicrobial compounds that will actually work against your goals of building beneficial microbial populations. This simple mixture provides a steady, gentle feeding for your soil organisms without the risk of nutrient burn that often comes with synthetic applications. Experienced gardeners have discovered that molasses really shines brightest in compost tea applications. Adding molasses to your brewing compost tea, well, it supercharges the microbial multiplication process, creating a potent biological boost that transforms ordinary compost tea into a soil health powerhouse. The rapid microbial reproduction that molasses triggers means you can brew incredibly active compost teas in just 24 to 48 hours, compared to the week or more that traditional brewing methods require. For composting enthusiasts, molasses offers another powerful application. Adding diluted molasses solution to compost piles accelerates the decomposition process dramatically. The carbohydrates provide an energy boost for the microorganisms responsible for breaking down organic matter, turning kitchen scraps and yard waste into finished compost in a fraction of the typical time frame. Many gardeners report cutting their composting time in half simply by incorporating regular molasses feeding into their pile management routine. The choice between molasses and synthetic boosters represents more than just a gardening decision. It's honestly a philosophy that extends far beyond your garden beds. When you choose to feed the soil ecosystem rather than bypassing it, you're participating in a form of regenerative agriculture that actually improves the environment over time. Your garden becomes a carbon sink, a habitat for beneficial insects, and a model of sustainability that can inspire others in your community. You know, the confidence that comes from understanding how molasses works really transforms your approach to gardening challenges. Instead of just reaching for a different bottle for every problem, you start to see how supporting soil health can actually address multiple issues at once. Healthy soil microbiology naturally suppresses so many plant pathogens, reduces pest pressure, and creates plants that are just so vigorous they can handle environmental stresses that would devastate honestly most chemically dependent plants. This knowledge well, it empowers you to become a more observant, intuitive gardener. You'll start noticing those subtle signs of soil health, 
the earthworm activity, the rich earthy smell and the way water soaks in rather than just running off. These observations they become your garden management tools and they're honestly more reliable than any fertilizer schedule or product recommendation out there. The environmental impact of choosing natural soil amendments, it ripples outward in ways that might really surprise you. Gardens managed with molasses and other organic methods actually support beneficial insect populations, including pollinators that are struggling so much in our increasingly chemical-saturated landscape. Your soil-first approach helps sequester carbon, contributing to climate change mitigation right there on a local level. And, you know, the reduced chemical runoff protects local waterways preserving aquatic ecosystems for future generations. As more gardeners discover the power of molasses and other natural soil amendments, we're witnessing the birth of a quiet revolution in home gardening. This movement isn't driven by marketing budgets or corporate campaigns, it's powered by gardeners sharing their successes, teaching their neighbors, and passing down knowledge that creates truly sustainable growing practices. Your journey with molasses represents an invitation to join this growing community of gardeners who understand that the best plant nutrition comes from building healthy soil ecosystems. Every time you choose molasses over synthetic alternatives, you're voting for a more sustainable future while creating a more productive, resilient garden. The path forward is clear and sweet. Armed with your understanding of how molasses transforms soil health, you're ready to experience gardening that works with nature rather than against it. Your plants, your soil, and your gardening budget will thank you for making this simple but profound shift toward natural soil management. Ready to transform your garden with the power of molasses? Don't let this ancient wisdom stay hidden. Subscribe to the Humus Heritage channel and share this guide with fellow gardeners who are ready to discover what their soil has been craving all along. Your garden's most productive, sustainable future starts with your next trip to the grocery store's baking aisle.